What's up everybody? I'm excited because next week is IMTS and we're gonna be machining this part out of titanium in the DN Solutions booth. Not only is it a cool part with multiple levels and tight tolerances, true positioning, all of that, and we're gonna be showing you guys the prints, the tooling, talking about speed speeds and all of it. I'm getting ahead of myself. But the cool thing is we're gonna actually be machining these parts from raw stock to crazy tolerances on the BVM 5700. Okay, now one of the cool things on the part is you have male threads popping off on the bottom and on the top. And when you zoom in, you can see that we need a key cutter, but I didn't have a key cutter here, but I got the Helitronic grinder over here and Barry is a beast at designing tools and grinding and machining and all of that. So Barry is grinding me a key cutter to pop right in here and he's gonna put the angle on that key cutter, put a little radius down below. He's gonna make it absolutely perfect and we're gonna use that tool to actually undercut this thread and we're gonna do it in front of you guys at IMTS. We're making the whole part at IMTS. If you guys aren't able to make it to the DN Solutions booth at two o'clock just look at my LinkedIn page every day we will post a schedule of where we are on that day at the different booths come say hi we got shirts we got posters we're signing everything taking pictures and I just want to meet you guys so LinkedIn Facebook Instagram check it out and come meet us boom back to Barry now this machine is super easy to use and I've been really impressed with how user-friendly it is so without further ado let's get to grinding now, as we get ready to load our blank into the machine, you need to take note that we have a chamfer on one end of the blank and a square corner on the other end. Now, for the sake of this tool, we want to make sure that we load our chamfer into the collet because our tool itself has square corners. When we programmed this part, we told it that we were going to have our blank sticking out three inches. So as I load it into the collet, I'm going to make sure that I have three inches minimum sticking out. All right, it's time to make the things that make the chips. All right, so if you check out our order of operations, you'll see the first thing that we're doing is we're probing the end of our tool blank. Right after that, we're going into fluting with our 1v1 wheel. After the fluting, we come in and do some preforming using the eccentric neck tool path. Now, we could have done the preforming a couple of different ways, but using eccentric neck was the simplest path forward. For the preforming, we're using our 1A1 wheel. Now, I originally programmed in a heel grind, but you'll see that we're skipping that operation because it ended up that we really didn't need it. Then we're coming in and doing our gash using our 11V9 wheel. Now, while we still have that 11V9 wheel in there, we're gonna come in and create our primary and secondary OD clearances. Immediately after our OD clearances, we're gonna create our end face clearances, and then that's a wrap. One thing I find really interesting about this software is that you have a real-time representation of the machine in your simulation. So whatever your machine is actually doing, you're able to watch it real-time right here on the digital model, even though you may not be able to see what's happening through the cooling. Now I know it's a bit of a downer, on our store, you can't buy an end mill that was made by me, Barry, but you can find hundreds of other awesome tools, so you should still check it out if you're into supporting free education. Oh, oh yes, flute my blank. So there you guys have it. We were able to turn out enough of these tools that they're gonna last us all the way through IMTS and titanium, and we were able to do so in just a matter of minutes. And even though Jesse and Chris try to make this grinding thing look super complicated, when you put a real machinist on the job, you can do anything. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you're enjoying this kind of content, check out our free online grinding academy. It's awesome, and I'll catch you guys again next time. Grinding Academy, don't forget.